A very good day to you and uh, welcome to the program in Jesus' name. Folks, early this morning, spending time with God. I was reading in the book of uh, Leviticus in my agricultural manual. That's right. Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 23. And the Lord tells us very clearly that the land belongs to Him. And I want to really um, underline that for you today. You might be a landowner, a farmer. Maybe you own a house. Maybe you own a flat. And um, you need to understand one thing. God has given that to you, and He wants you to be a good steward over it, but it does not belong to you. Now, there might be people saying, but I've got a, we've had this farm for six generations. And Folks, the land was here before you came, and the land will be here after you leave. That's a fact. And I'm not just talking to a landowner. I'm talking to companies. I'm talking to the government. The land belongs to God. And God lends us the land for a season. I think most world wars and fights and civil wars and internal wars and family disputes have taken place because of land. But the land was never ours. And God makes that very clear. He says we should start to concentrate on a different country, and that is heaven, on our spiritual home. The same thing applies with our possessions. I'm talking about relationships. Your wife does not belong to you. Your husband is not your property. He belongs to God. And God has lent him to you Lent her to you for a season. The same thing applies with your children. No, they are my children. They've got my surname and they even look like me. They might very well do that, but they were not made by you. God gave them to you to look after for a season. And then he's going to take them back. And that's quite a sobering thought. Have you ever thought about that? We need to start to enjoy what God's given us for the season. But you know, there's a tremendous reward in that. If you start to understand this concept, all the heavy burden and the responsibility that you've been carrying no longer applies to you. So if you are just being a good steward of the farm or the land or the business that God has given to you, you've got no more worries because He is the owner and he will determine what's going to happen in the future. Same thing applies with your wife. Appreciate her, love her, cherish her. But remember, ultimately, she belongs to God. God created her and gave her to you for a season. And that's quite a sobering thought. Same with your children. Do your best, work hard, supply as much as you can for them. But in the end of the day, give the responsibility back to God. Now, I'm talking from first-hand experience. It took me 32 years to wake up and to realize that everything that I have here is not mine, it's God's. And from that time onwards, on the 18th of February, 1979, when I gave my life to the Lord, I didn't only give Him my life, I gave Him my family, my expectations, my vision, the farm, everything that I had. I said, Lord, it's yours. And you know, from that night onwards, I started to sleep like a baby. I started to live life to the full. See, Jesus says in John 10.10, 10, I came that you might have life abundantly. The Lord wants you to enjoy His creation. That's why He made it. But the responsibility is His. So don't take possession of something that's not yours. Because you won't cope. You won't be able to handle it. So until next time, remember, the land is the Lord's and everything on it, but you belong to Him. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.